friends, and welcome to Did You Art, the YouTube channel for people who don't take themselves or their art too seriously. So as you may know, I created this channel as a way for all of us to be encouraged to art as often as possible, preferably on a daily basis, but I know that life happens and sometimes we just can't do that. But I also created this channel as a way for us to grow together as artists, as creatives, whether that be through learning a new technique or discovering a fabulous new art product. Well, that's what this video is all about. I recently discovered a really cool new product, brand new, in fact, um, that was sent to me as part of my Art Snacks subscription service, the uh, Art Snacks box. I just signed up for that. I don't know if you guys have uh, ever tried the Art Snacks. I think it's artsnacks.com. I'll put a link down below. But it's pretty cool. They send you out a bunch of new products, art supplies every month. You don't know what you're going to get. And it's a really cool way to try out new things, um, discover new techniques, and just kind of play around and get inspired. So one of the products really stood out to me. Like I mentioned, it's brand new. And I thought that rather than keeping it all to myself, I would film me using it for the first time. So let's get to it. So this is the Liquitex Acrylic Gouache. Like I said, this was included in my um, most recent Art Snacks subscription. Woohoo! Really do like Art Snacks. I just signed up and I've been pretty happy with it. But this is a brand new product. Um, they included a little description about what it is, how to use it. This is professional quality, it says. It's highly opaque, it's light fast, and highly vibrant. Apparently, when you use this, um, it goes on matte and it's super saturated, which I like, and it's water resistant when it is dry. So that way, if you do use, um, let's say watercolor and you wanna go back over it, it will stay put. It won't get picked up again like some of the other types of paint out there. Uh, the description says that it's got a fluid texture, no drag, so you don't have to add water for them to be workable, but you can if you wanna kinda of dilute it a bit and give it more of a watercolory look. Um, says some of the other benefits is that it's in a reusable, recyclable, and easy to squeeze package, meaning it doesn't have corners, so you can just squeeze it out, put it in your little tub, in your tray, and you're good to go. And it says that artists can also stack them on top of each other, which I can see. I only have one, so I can't demonstrate that. But if you like to store your paint on your desk or in a little cart, you could probably stack them on top of each other and that's gonna save you some space. The bottles have screw off tops, as you can see, and then in here is the knob, or the neck, I guess they're calling it. So you can just squeeze it out nice and easy. That way you're not like dumping a whole bunch in. You can get a nice uh, targeted amount for what you wanna use for your piece. So I thought we, what we could do is swatch this out, just do a couple layers of it, let it dry, see what it looks like, and then I'm actually going to demonstrate using this in a couple of actual finished pieces. So let's get into it. So first of all, let's go ahead and just use the gouache alone as it is. My initial thoughts are that it's going on very smooth. I like how pigmented it is, it's very opaque. It's got a nice feel to it. And that's a very, very smooth finish, as you can see, almost velvety. So I'll be curious to see what that looks like when it's dry. I'm just gonna kind of dry brush it out a bit because I wanna go back over this with a wash and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, now let's go ahead and add some water to it and see what happens then. Yeah, that's got more of a watercolory look and feel. But it's still highly pigmented. I do like it though with the water. That's really pretty. Let's really get it nice and juicy. Yeah, that's very beautiful. Okay, so let's let this dry and then come back and do some layering on top of it to see what it looks like. So they've had a chance to dry and my initial thoughts, I like the finish. They're very soft, very smooth, almost velvety, 
and there's not a lot of streaky brush strokes. I've experienced that with some of the other uh, mainly cheaper gouaches that I've used in the past, but as you can see, it's a really nice solid block of color. Um, this is the one that we use with water. Again, really gorgeous color. Still highly pigmented, even though we did dilute it a bit, but um, I think that this would be a good alternative if watercolors aren't your thing or if you wanted something that's a little more saturated and has more color. I do like this. It's still got that really nice watery effect. So yeah, that's kind of fun. The one thing I did notice though, so this shade is primary red. To me, and I don't know if this is just me, this is almost reading magenta to me, almost like a, um, a fuchsia color. It's got a little more pink, pinky feel. But that's, that's fine. I mean, pink's one of my favorite colors, so that works for me. So let's layer some watercolor on top of it and see what kind of cool effects we can do. So these are my Daniel Smith watercolors that I've just gone ahead and set up in their own little palettes. Let's play around with some different shades that are in the warm category. So let's put this nice, what, what, which one is this? I can't tell. If you guys have any tips on how you label your um, your pans, please let me know. I've tried everything from washi tape to um, painter's tape to just writing on the actual pans themselves and it's just not working. So I would like to know, I do have swatch cards, but still I move these pans around so much that it's hard to kind of keep track of what's what. So any tips on how to label your watercolors, your pans, please let me know in the comment section down below. video give it a big thumbs up if you hated it give it a thumbs down if you haven't already subscribed please do so and in the meantime don't forget to art <laughs>